In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to run cleanup commands with Invoke Atomic. Many atomic tests include cleanup commands that will either remove temporary files generated during the execution of an atomic test, or restore certain configuration or settings changes to their pre-test condition. Cleanup commands are listed in the YAML files associated with each technique, so you can look them up manually by reading through those files in the Atomics directory. Alternatively, you can show the verbose details for any given test to see what, if any, are the cleanup commands for a given technique or test. In this video, we're going to run the cleanup command for a test associated with MITRE ATT&CK technique T1562.001, Disable or Modify Tools. This particular test uninstalls Sysmon. So, counterintuitively, the cleanup command for this test will either install or reinstall Sysmon. If you're paying close attention, you might have noticed that the technique ID here is different. That's because T1089 used to be the MITRE technique ID for disabling security tools. When MITRE and Atomic Red Team transitioned to sub-techniques, that ID changed to T1562.001. You'll want to make sure that you use the latter number, otherwise everything in this video should still work. Generally speaking, the first thing you'll want to do is run the actual test. However, we're going to skip that step here because Sysmon isn't actually installed on this VM. And so, we can just run the cleanup command, which will go ahead and install or reinstall Sysmon as the case may be. Again, PowerShell will inform you once Invoke Atomic has executed the cleanup command.